and Colorado lawmakers hoping for a new tool in fighting those wildfires, the state's own firefighting fleet. But 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez learned it's an idea that's having a very tough time taking off. It is precisely the type of drop we've watched dozens of times over the past two devastating wildfire seasons. There's no reason that the state of Colorado, with its water at risk, should wait any longer. State Senator Steve King says it's not just buildings and lives at risk, but watersheds surrounded now by dead trees that demand a state air fleet. It is hard to understand why we've gone two years. He is frustrated that the Colorado Firefighting Air Corps was created last year with no funding and now hopes the governor will step behind his Senate Bill 164. I've held my tongue for a couple years. He needs to get in the game. It's not Republican, it's not Democrat, it's Coloradoan. It's our water. And it is a clear and present danger. Next week, we expect a report from the Colorado Division of Fire Prevention and Control on where we are with this idea of a state firefighting fleet. But this bill would authorize that group to lease or buy three helicopters this year, plus another four air tankers for next year. But it too, at this point, lacks a funding mechanism. From Centennial Airport, Tyler Lopez, 7 News.